Hello everyone, welcome to First Code Academy. Today we are going to make a traffic light circuit using Arduino. In this project, I'll be using Arduino Uno and some hardware components to build up the traffic light circuit. And to code the program, I'll be using the software Mbot. You may find the link to download the software Mbot in the description box below. All right. The components that we would need to build up the traffic light circuit would be an Arduino Uno with a connector cable, three 220 ohm resistors, one breadboard, three colored LEDs with red, yellow, green colors, each representing a traffic light color. And finally, we would need some jumper wires. So let's go ahead and see how we can build the circuit and program it. Alright, once we have gathered all our hardware components, let's go ahead and build our traffic light circuit. First, I'll be using a breadboard, which I'm going to use as my base plate to build up my circuit. Next, I'm going to set up my three colored LED lights on my breadboard. First, I'll be using a breadboard, which is going to be my base plate to build up my circuit. Next, I'm going to set up my LEDs. LED stands for light emitting dots. They light up just like mini bulbs when electricity is powered. An LED has two legs. One leg is longer than the other. The longer leg is known as the anode, which is also our positive light. The shorter leg is known as cathode, which is the negative leg. So I'm going to spread my legs a little bit further apart. And I'm going to place my longer leg on my right hand side and the shorter leg on my left hand side. So, next I'm going to use my yellow LED. I'm going to spread them apart like this. And I'm going to place my shorter leg on my left hand side and the longer leg on my right hand side. Same goes for my green LED. So once I have set up my LEDs on my breadboard, next I'm going to use resistors to control the amount of electricity that is passing along each route. So I'm going to connect one end of the resistor to the negative side of the LED. Like that. And the other end of the resistor, I'm going to connect to the negative rail of the breadboard. So I can connect to any negative rail on the breadboard. Like that. So I'm going to repeat the same steps for all other two LEDs. I'm going to connect one end of the resistor to the negative leg of my LED and the other end of the resistor to the negative rail of my red. Like that. Same goes for my green LED. I'm going to connect to the same hole that has the negative leg. And then I'm going to connect to any rail of the negative rail. When you're building the circuit, make sure that the shorter legs of the LED and one end of the resistor should be connected in the same column of the breadboard. Alright, so once I have connected my LEDs, 
Next, I'm going to connect the LEDs with the Arduino board. All right, now I'm going to connect my red LED to pin 10 in my Arduino board. So I'm going to connect the longer leg of the red LED to pin 10 in my Arduino board. Awesome. So I'm going to repeat the same step for my real LED and my green LED. So I'm going to connect the longer leg of my yellow LED to pin 9 and the positive leg of the green LED to pin 8. So once I have connected my LEDs with the resistors and the Arduino pins, next I need to complete my circuit. So I'm going to connect the negative and the positive rails of the breadboard to the ground pin and the 5 volt pin respectively on the Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno is a mini computer that is used to make simple robots and machines. We can use an Arduino Uno to connect a hardware circuit with a software. All right, now once we have built our circuit, let's look how we can program our traffic lights. So how does a traffic light actually work? First, it will light up the red light that is followed by the yellow light and finally the green light. So when we are coding, the actual flow of the traffic light would be, first, we are going to on our red LED. Next, we are going to switch off the red LED and then on the yellow LED. And the third step would be, we are going to switch off the yellow LED and then on the green LED and finally the green LED would light off and then it will switch on the red LED to give the actual flow of traffic lights. So let's go ahead and see how we can program this circuit on M block. In order to connect my M block platform with my Arduino Uno, I need to add my device into the platform. So I'm going to click on the add device option. Next, I'm going to find my Arduino Uno and I'm going to click OK. Add. Now, once I have added my Arduino Uno component onto the M block platform, I'm going to switch the mode to light. Next, I'm going to the yellow color blocks that is called events. And I'm going to drag the event block when the green flag is clicked. Next, in order to light up my LEDs, Repeatedly, I'm going to drag a forever loop, which you can find in the control blocks. Next, I'm going to configure my Arduino pins. First, I need to light up my red LED. So I'm going to bring the block set digital pin and I'm going to Change the pin to be 10. Next, I'm going to give a weight block such that 
the red LED lights up for two seconds. Next, in my traffic light flow, my yellow LED should be light up while my red LED should be switched off. Next, I'm going to configure the pins for my red LED to be low and for the yellow LED, it should be high. So I'm going to drag in set digital pin block and I'm going to make it 10. And I'm going to set the output as low. Next, I'm going to drag in the same block again. And I'm going to change the pin to be nine. And I'm going to leave it as high. Next, I'm going to bring a red block again. And I'm going to change it to be two seconds. In my third step of the traffic light flow, the green LED should be light up while the yellow LED should be switched off. So I'm going to configure the pins of the green LED and the yellow LED. So I'm going to switch off the yellow LED while I'm going to switch on my green LED. All right. So in the last step, the green LED should be switched off. So I'm going to put another weight block, change it to be two seconds. Next, I'm going to drag in the set digital pin block and I'm going to change it to be pin A. And I'm going to set it as low to switch off my green LED. All right, now once we have finished our project, let's go ahead and connect with our Arduino Uno. So I'm going to click on connect. This will show me the port where my Arduino board is connected. Next, I'm going to click on connect. In order to make sure that your code is directly uploaded onto your Arduino board, I'm going to click on settings and I'm going to click on update firmware. I'm going to go ahead and click on connect once again. So in order to try out our circuit, I'm going to click on green flag again. 